right, folks, welcome back again. Thanks for joining me. It's been a while. Yeah, I know, my fault for being so busy, but uh, I can't complain. So uh, hopefully you're going to get a few videos out to you now um, and a few little patterns that I find very useful um, in the up and coming months. We are, of course, into winter fishing now. So um, this one is going to be just a little beaded lure. Um, call it what you like. It's all sorts of different names. Basically, it's a black tadpole with a green bead on it, but one that I find is an extremely uh, productive searching fly good winter pattern um, we'll talk about it more as we go along so um, to start with hook and the vice is a uh, Fasner uh, 310 barbless size 10 <coughs> and the uh, bead on the end of it there is a, is a lime green um, 3.2 mil brass bead um, painted brass bead so we'll get this uh, started up thread as always is UTC uh, 70 in black let's just get this caught on and we'll go for it uh, as always, folks, if you enjoy the videos, uh, please click like, click subscribe. Um, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments box. Um, I didn't quite realise how many people these videos are getting out to, to be honest. I quite enjoy being around the fisheries and chatting to people and having folks come up saying I'm seeing your videos and I'm enjoying them. Or can you do this and can you do that? So um, any suggestions are gladly received. Tail, first bit in this, um, as the pattern would suggest, it's just simply black marabou. A decent pinch of black marabou in there uh, and this really is what gives a pattern as with most most winter lures um, it's effectiveness it's this movement in the black marabou so i'm going to pick out a fairly healthy pinch of black marabou um, and then i'm going to try to get that to water measure up if i can avoid it i don't want to really pinch the ends of these i want to uh use that nice natural taper it's got and rather get rid of some of the stuff up this 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 end up here so we'll just offer that up. Fairly long tail on this because I want to have a decent bit of movement. You're going to suffer a bit with nail tail nips, but um, it's worth it to get the fish's attention, and it really does bring this pattern to life. So that's what I reckon that's going to be. Just going to trim that off and a nice even edge. Oh, and pull the whole thing out of the vise. <laughs> Great. Now I've got to balance that with the marabou in my hand. And that whipped on and get it back in again. There we go. We recovered it. See, happens to the best of us. Right, let's catch that in. And then just uh, wind that down. There. It's a very similar time to a lot of lures, you know, the blue flash damsel, the yellow dancer, etc. etc. It's just a variation on colours and, and go for it, you know, a little play around with the colours. But this is a, a combination of very good for winter, and you're going to see a lot of this now for winter, black and green really on the menu as is white and green etc but black and green are one of your winter colors so the body for this is going to be this stuff it's uh uni mylar it's the peacock peacock and orange all right number 12 this is lovely stuff this it's got one side of it it's got that lovely greeny peacocky color and the other side of course has got this orange tint so we can use whatever side we want for this okay but we're gonna trap that in so the orange is facing out, all right, so that when I wrap it, the peacock will actually be the, the bit that we see. So pop that in, wrap it down the hook, and I also want to put a little ribbon here as well um, because it's going to secure our hackle. So a little bit of fine silver wire. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything special because it's not going to be seen. So um, just wrap that down. Put it back down to the tail, lock it in, tuck it away, bring your thread back up to the head, and then with your uni, just form a nice body coming up. You see it's got that lovely metallic green look to it. It's a bit more than um, using your normal pearl uni. It's just got that bit more of a greeny tinge to it, which is what we want, you know. This is, as I say, a black and green look. I find this extremely successful wherever I go. It's a very, very good flow on a fishing chipper or uh, Walthamstow or Grafham. This has been one of my little... One of our little secrets on graph from this a pattern similar to this uh, through the winter pop it out on a floating line a couple of shrimp behind it if you want to doesn't need it and just let it flutter down through the water and the fish will often take this on the drop as the plop down as it drops down if they don't what you'll often find is that first long draw you make that lifts the fly starts to pull the fly bang you'll get an immediate lock up on this i've had many a good day on this this has really saved us some uh, uh, on the harder days over at Grafham. So now time for the hackle. So we've got a, just a natural black uh, hen cape here. 
and I'm just going to select uh, one of the bigger feathers from up the top here pull that out like so yeah, nice big I like using hen for these because I don't want the heckle to be too stiff I want it to have plenty of movement and I want it to bed down a little bit and I don't want this to be too big a mouthful I wanted a really big mouthful for these fish you would be going with something like a black humongous or something but this is something a little bit more dare I say delicate I mean it's only a size 10 so we're going to strip this bit of rubbish off here at the top of the fly there and just give us that to catch in we'll catch it in just behind the head so I'll blink, get it nice and locked in great okay Show off that little bit of waste now are you using your heckle pliers or using your fingers and if I could find the heckle pliers we could use them nice well organized uh, fly time desk here okay come with the heckle pliers and then just a couple of turns right at the top there just making sure it's all nice and splayed out that's lovely and then bring it down you only want about three turns down the body you want loads you just want that green to shine through where possible just making sure that hackle just splays out as you're doing it that's lovely that's looking great and just down third turn again making sure it will splays out giving that nice big it's quite a big body profile but when it opens and closes when you're retrieving it it's that soft soft hen heckle um doesn't impede the hookups uh, and it, uh, it just looks great in the water. It's a hugely successful fly. Uh, definitely always in my winter box. We're on going in the winter months. Doesn't matter what lake I'm fishing. This is going to get a swim. Because black and green, you know, it's a, it's the winter colour. A lot to do with, you know, the green. Something to do with that green daphnia that the fish are feeding on in the winter. And they are cheaper at the moment. A lot of green daphne are in the lakes at the moment and fish are really hard on them. But it's always that memory, isn't it? Right, I've just brought that uh, rib up. Nice and worked it through the fly. That's looking brilliant. That looks really, really nice. That does. I'm going to finish it off at the front there. You could put a bit of hackle in the front here if you wanted to. Um, you could add, I don't think it adds to the pattern. I don't think it needs it. All you simply got to do up there is just whip finish. Bring that in, whip finish. And then we're just going to trim off the excess of everything. So come in and take off that bit of wire. And a little bit of uh, rubbishy end of hackle back here. Wherever that is down here with that trying to cut any other hackles off. And that, as you can see, very quick flight of tie. But boy does it work well. Um, yeah. And with any lure, you know, I know a lot of people don't like lure fishing or they, they want to do something different from lure fishing. I get that, I do. But in the winter months, sometimes you're a little bit limited and sometimes the fish need a bit of provocation. They need to um, have something to, uh, to, to to draw them out of their, sort of their, their stupor. And a fly like this is going to do it. Tons of movement back here. Um, not a massive gobble. Just going to put a little drop of varnish in there just to finish everything off. Nice and tight. I don't know what you're going to call this. It's just black and green. Somebody, I'm sure somebody give their name to it or something somewhere down the line. Um, but uh, yeah, call it what you like. It's a it's a bead headed lure. So, nice and quick, nice and easy. Give it a swim. Try to graph them, um, and everywhere else. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, hopefully now I've got a bit of time on my hands. Well, I will. I've got a few videos coming out now. Hopefully a couple of fishing videos as long as you blinking weather sorts itself out and I can get out and do some um, and we'll get some content back out to you thanks for sticking with me um, continue to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the bank soon or I'll be back here soon thanks very much folks bye bye